It's 5.30 in the morning. This is the second time in the last few days we've got up just to see the sunrise. And I am shattered. Again, I only got like one or two hours sleep, max. Uh, I don't really know what's going on, but we're all up today. And we're going to see the Taj Mahal. I have my ticket for the Taj Mahal. We found out we cannot take tripods in, which is going to hinder our, how good shots we can get. The doors have just opened. There's a mass of people going in. And Ben and Jack had to run off to put their tripods somewhere. I don't know what's going on. That's good for security check. I thought if we came here at six in the morning, it'd be relatively quiet. But there's lots of people here. Well, I think there's lots of people here, maybe not compared to other times, but what we're trying to do is wander down to find a shot where the sun's rising behind Taj Mahal. Look at this army guy with an actual gun, just chilling, ready to shoot someone. That monkey did not like me. Just got attacked by a monkey, that's crazy. I'm about to go in a mosque, so I had to put on these shoe covers as a sign of respect. Guys, have we got enough cameras here? Yeah, you have enough cameras. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. It's camera club. Yeah, this is. Do you want to be a member of our camera club? <laughs> The sunrise was a bit of a disappointment, but the Taj Mahal, beautiful, amazing piece of architecture. I think it's time to probably head back to the hotel and get some more sleep. Look at all these bats flying around. Look at them all. Bats everywhere. We are back and we're going to get some breakfast. So Max has forgotten about his tiny little mug. Got a whole bowl of tea. British web. Considering I got an hour's sleep last night, I'm going to take a few hours now to nap. <sighs> that was an amazing sleep. Oh, I feel very refreshed. Chicken burgers have arrived. Breaking bad. Me and Will just watched the latest episode of Breaking Bad. Oh, it's so mental. It's so crazy. I don't even know what to think about life anymore. And back in reality, we are going to a marketplace, going to maybe buy some cool Indian clothes and pimp out the tuk-tuks a little bit. So we're going to head over there now.
arrived at a clothing store to get some outfits, Indian outfits. It's okay to leave that there. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. This is what I've been looking for my whole life. So I've gone for pink. I think uh, it's not a typical masculine colour, but... Ben's got a matching, matching outfit to me. Gotcha. <laughs> what have you found there, Max? Mate, I've got... Doesn't that work? Wouldn't they let go over your ears or? Is that right? Oh yeah, I like that. With the sun sunnies as well. I just found this. I'm, I'm pretty confident. So See, what? This, this one will be more better because your head is smaller. So I've gone for pink top, green hairband, and, and the blue trousers. Yeah? Do I look good? I think I look kind of Bollywood kind of style. This shop has made a lot of money off us today. A lot of money. That's a really good day shopping. That was amazing. I'm very happy with my purchase. Some of the boys now want to get some bling, some rings and stuff, so we're going to pop into this shop. Big Ganesh. Hey Ganesh. Oh. It's a meditation bowl. We're off to the market now to look at some handmade stuff. So Louis just found this phone and I think there's someone on the other line. Hello. Oh hey mum. It's my mum. <laughs> Look at Jack. Look at Jack's bag. <laughs> you are absolutely covered. I cannot believe what just happened. Me and Jack literally got covered in this powder whilst we were like dancing down the street to this music. There was a statue of Ganesh. It was all a bit mental. And then it was just over like that. Like one minute of mayhem. We've been resting up. We've now got into our costumes, our Indian costumes, and we're gonna get some dinner. And it's really exciting. We are literally like less than $300 away from hitting our 10, no, $100,000, $100,000 fundraising target of Teenage Cancer Trust. What's happened to us? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were just meditating together. I've lost my marbles. We're all quite excited to hit our target tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to make a little speech here right now. We're just over a week into our Pride Year campaign uh, in which we're trying to raise awareness and money for Teenage Cancer Trust. And today, currently we are on $99,817 raised for Teenage Cancer Trust. Our goal is $100,000. The internet's being slow. <laughs> <laughs>
So far, we have raised one hundred thousand nine hundred twenty-eight dollars. Yeah. Yeah. When we went to launch the campaign, I, th I think we knew we had an idea that it would get some support behind it, but. I had no idea that in such a short amount of time, so many people would get behind the campaign. It genuinely makes me feel so proud of our online community. So we are just sitting in our room, we've celebrated hitting $100,000 on the fundraising campaign and we decided what better way to celebrate than do a You Now from India and it's been working really, really well, look. We're doing You Now, hello everyone. And um, we actually sat outside for, for most of the broadcast, we just come inside now just to get away from the mosquitoes and stuff. Well, what an eventful day. I'm still buzzing off reaching our target. Even in the last couple of hours since we reached it, it's now at... $102,000 we've raised, so it's mind-blowing, but um, we are leaving tomorrow, we're leaving Agra, I don't know where we're going next, but we're getting on the tuk-tuks, all the tuk-tuks are being fixed up and ready to roll, and I'm going to get some sleep, I'm going to jump in the shower first and get some of this orange dust off me, and then I'm going to sleep, catch you guys tomorrow, peace out, enjoy life, live the adventure, boom.